Hey Bruins fans, Johnny Gammon here, and I'm joined today by Kate Matthews of the women's golf team. Kate, uh, thanks for taking some time for us today. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, you know, we're starting back into Bruins golf here shortly, and I know last year was a historic year for a number of reasons, not, uh, not just the pandemic, but uh, if we go back to last fall, if we could, uh, you made history in our women's golf program by becoming our first All-American in the program history. Um, just take me through that experience of uh, being in the regional tournament. Uh, obviously, from a team perspective, we weren't able to, to win the region championship as a team, but then you find out you're going to be able to go to nationals and, and compete as an individual. So what was kind of the, the first thoughts that were going to your mind when you, when you found out that was going to be a reality? Yeah, well, first off, it was a really humbling experience. Like, I did not expect to get to go to nationals because – I was told when our team had, we were playing in the regionals tournament before nationals, and I was told, like, if our team doesn't win, then nobody goes. So I was just, like, trying to, like, encourage the team, like, do our best. Like, if we work hard enough, we can win this. And so I can't remember what place I was. I think I was, like, in the top five. And I was, like, I was kind of bummed. I was, like, oh, I'm not going to get to go to nationals. And then, like, it was a day later, a coach comes up to me, and he's, like, you, um, you are eligible to go to nationals and I was so excited so from that I had like two weeks to prepare so I went into my swing coach and I really um, got him to help me with my swing and practice shots that I would need for nationals and so when I got to nationals my goal was just to like be consistent and like stay focused and be very positive and like how I play and be smart how I play yeah. And you're playing against the national, you're playing against the best golfers in the country. Um, you know, at what point in the, in the round or in the tournament, did you start to think, you know, that top 10, top five finish could be actually a reality? It was the second day we played three days and it was the second day. And I was halfway through the round and like my parents were following me and like they had the scoreboard with them. So they look at, they would talk to me and I'd be like, Hey, what, like what place am I in? And um, I saw after I was in fourth place, I had four holes to go. And I was like, wow, okay. I really got to do well if I want to be like in the last spot to play tomorrow. And the last four holes is kind of where it went downhill. And that's something I learned for if I get the opportunity to go next year is just to stay focused on my game and not like all the other things. If I'm going to make it like be, top 10 or whatever, but just like stay focused on my game. So that is something that I learned is you need to concentrate more like when playing. That's one of the things with golf that is different from other sports in that, you know, you have that individual component. It's all about how you play. Mm -hmm. um, obviously collegiate golf in a normal event, you're going to be, you know, with your teammates and they have to contribute as well. But uh, as you, you know, finished out the, the national tournament, you finished in the top five and were able to become our first All-American. Uh, did you realize that right as you finished that last hole or were you waiting for, for other players to finish or how did that work out? Well, I was one of the first groups to go off. So there were like 10 other groups behind me. So I had no clue how they were playing because they weren't keeping a live scoring at the time when I was off. And so I was just like, I didn't know how I played. Like they just said, go back to your hotel room and wait. So I like just like sat around. I was just kind of nervous waiting. And then like as the people kept coming in, like their scores, I like I kept going lower and lower. I was like, I might have a chance like to be top 10. And it got lower. I was like, well, I could be in top five. <laughs> Uh, it was a great experience and certainly memorable for our women's golf program to have you become the first uh, All-American. I know the women's golf team in, is kind of uh, still in its infancy. We're still getting the program off the ground, but kind of as you look uh, at, the, at the fall season and uh, the, the little bit of the spring season that we got to play, um, what, what were you most proud of with the, with the women's team this last year? I was most um, proud with their like spirits. Like, you know, we weren't doing so well, but our coach was like, you can, like, he was trying to, like, give us a lot of confidence. He's like, you can do this. If you work hard, you can, you can win. And so I think, like, when we started practicing more, we all, like, started realizing, hey, we can win as a team. And, like, once we got the confidence, it, like, it really helped our game a lot. And, like, we started doing better. But then we were excited to go to the next tournament, but since of COVID, it got cut short. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that is because, you know, in the fall, at least traditionally so far, we have been playing a, a majority of our tournaments then. And the, the spring was more or less we'd get, you know, four or five tournaments in to, to help us prepare for that next fall. Obviously, that's going to change going forward with us being a D3 school. But um, what was that like? You guys really had started to build some momentum late fall going into the spring and then to all of a sudden have that essentially just kind of pulled out from under you. What was that like? 
Mm, I know for me and the other team members, it was very frustrating. Because, like, we had just gotten our games to the point where we can win. And we were, like, getting more and more confidence with our swing. And then, like, all that to be just totally, like, crashed down. And, like, it was kind of – it was very disappointing. But it gave us more motivation. I mean, we can do it, like, next season. So that gives us more confidence going into this year. As you look ahead to this year, what, what are you excited about as you, as you guys look ahead to – obviously going to be a year that's, that's different from others, but uh, the opportunities for the team coming up this fall. Um, we would like to at least um, win one tournament as a team. That's our goal right now. And then to be more consistent with our game. Like sometimes we have bad rounds and good rounds, but our coach is really trying to get us to be more consistent and like have a good round every time. So we're just looking on consistency and staying positive out there. As you look back kind of as a collective group and as a, as a team, I know this COVID experience has been uh, life-changing for a lot of people across the world. For you specifically, I've been asking some of our student athletes this, but what – What's the biggest lesson or the biggest thing that you feel like personally God has taught you through this whole pandemic and ordeal? Yeah, he's definitely taught me to trust him more for sure. You know, when COVID first happened, I was really frustrated. Of course, with golf and like, you know, having to leave my friends and everything, I was really frustrated. But he really like taught me to trust him more and that he knows like what's going to happen. Like the verse Jeremiah 29 11, it says, for I know the plans I have for you. And that verse was super encouraging. I mean, like, he knows why this happened, and he's allowing it for a reason. So it just gave me confidence, like, to keep motivating to work hard for this season. So you guys, again, as a team, looking forward to this season. Um, we don't really have a lot of more uh, recruits coming in, but we do have probably our one of our biggest teams uh, in history in terms of just number of players that are going to be on the team. Um, you personally, talk to me about some individual goals maybe that you have uh, for this upcoming year. For myself? Yeah. Okay, my goal is to um, cut some strokes down on my score and to consistently shoot around even par. My goal is to win at least one or two tournaments throughout this whole year, um, spring and fall season. And just to do better and to stay more positive. I know I get down on myself if I have a bad hole, but just to stay um, positive and know I can do and have confidence in my swing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to uh, the women's golf team and what they can do this fall season. Uh, Kate Matthews joining us again from the women's team, our first All-American. And again, we just appreciate so much the time uh, that you gave us today. Thanks again. Thank you.